Hello, this is Archangel515, and welcome to Duxel. So after building the Parliament House last time, this time I decided to make a few amendments and build some new things. So I built two new builds. They're next to the Parliament House, and they sort of serve another purpose on the island. So as you can see, I'm sort of trying to build a sort of government-related district, government-related area of the city, the center of it. It's in the center of it too, because last time I indicated that it was all at zero, zero. And so we go through this tunnel I made, which was one of the amendments of it, and go in here and then come out again. And then you might be able to see what's there. What's new. And then further into the tunnel. And then up the steps. Daytime. There's the Parliament House. And what's this? A wall. What's that? That go on the... Ooh, what's this? Flower garden bit of lag. Wow, these flowers are making me lag. I can't believe it. Ooh, steps, more flowers. Bushes, trim. Flowers. Of... What is that? A flagpole. Alright. So we go up the steps. What's this say? M-C-D-S-C-D. I wonder what those could stand for. Let's check. Do we have the wings on? Yeah, we do. Magistrate's Court Duxel. There's no sound in the game. Yeah, I, I cannot hear anything. I cannot hear anything. This is weird. Hold on. Let me just edit a few things. Oh man. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I seem to be unable to hear any of the game sounds coming through. So that mushroom is not dead and if I killed it, another one would spawn in its place. Somewhere else on the island. So you got the Magistrate's Court, Magistrate's Court Excel here. And then you also got Supreme Court Excel here. So I did some research on this and I sort of condensed it down into those two courts because um, li limited space on the island and I don't know I had at least two buildings in mind but I don't know for the floor plan I think two buildings look like as much as I could fill in it with the space available. So this lower courtrooms mostly they look the same. But I sort of went went for the an Australian style of courtroom. So you, here, magistrates, mostly it sort of looks like a civil courtroom layout. So you don't have extra seating for the plaintiff and the defendant themselves. Oh no, I'm using Judge Judy talk. I mean the accused and the accuser, or whatever words you use in law school and whatnot. But Layout here is according to several state government websites in Australia. You got the judge's chair here. 
which looks out onto the whole courtroom. You got the judge's assistant right in front, and then you got which one is it again? You got the the sort of main security officer thing person that sits here to keep the room secure. But that person that sits here. Oh yeah, I used item frames to put on books and stuff and make it look like people write down things. And then you got the witness chair here, witness sits here, and then you got the solicitors that sit in these chairs here and other council. And then public members sit here. Since this is a civil court, nothing should go wrong because the criminals that get tried or some stuff here are not that dangerous, hopefully. Same deal here, except the, the witness sits on the other side and the officer sits here and probably the, um, the solicitors for each client switch places here too, potentially, but we'll leave that ambiguous and leave that up to you to decide. Wow, this is incredibly laggy. Then you got stairs. I'm not sure what to do with this here. Leave the storage space or what? I'll just leave it there. So you got stairs going up to different floors, which all look the same because yes. You might also notice they're numbered. So courtroom three and courtroom four. Up another flight of stairs. Nice view. Courtroom 5. No, courtroom 5 is this one. Courtroom 6 is this one. And courtroom 7. Courtroom 8. I won't go inside those because they look the same. And then you got this little, uh, what was it? This, uh, sky deck. For which people who, uh, can't pay off a lot of their debt, go and commit suicide. Whee! No, don't do this at home. I have wings. I can do this in Minecraft. I would not do this in real life. Don't do this in real life. Seriously, don't do that in real life. Alright, so now we go back down. That was a simulated jump in Minecraft. Don't try that at home. And then this is the Supreme Court, which... I wanted to make look a little bit fancier and more imposing. I also... My notice, I used... Melbourne aesthetic with these buildings. What's Melbourne aesthetic, you may, you may ask? If you've ever been to the city of Melbourne in Victoria... Which you probably haven't at this point in time. <laughs> oh man, I'm really, I'm really taking it hard. I'm really taking it against them hard. Oh my. Oh man. Oh yeah, I don't want that coronavirus. Oh. But yeah, Melbourne aesthetic. You might notice if you go to Melbourne, a lot of the buildings, a lot of the cars, a lot of the clothing that the people wear, they're always... They always like to choose the most dreary, most bland, most colorless colors possible. And so I really, I really went hard with that aesthetic. With this magistrate's court. I used some gray concrete with some white concrete and some dull looking wood on the outside. But it's not as Melbourne as the Supreme Court, <laughs> which I used the... The darkest of grays. I used black windows for each one. This one doesn't use black windows except for this part, which is meant to be dark in comparison. But these, I just blacked out. I just blacked out everything. <laughs> it's hilarious. And even, even going here, they, these are oak floors. I don't know if I should have done jungle. Those look less uh, warm. But here, these are spruce floors, dark spruce floors, and you got nether brick. Oh, oh, the Melbourne is strong with this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for anyone who watches this from Melbourne, don't worry, I'm taking, I'm taking the joke on ya. It's just a joke, bruh. I do not know how to say some things sometimes. I almost swore.
Yeah, so I'm getting I'm getting a bit I'm getting a bit carried away here. So you got here you got couch. Up there you just had little little individual chairs, but here you got a couch. Because this is a supreme court. You gotta have a you gotta have a supreme couch. For your supreme leader and all that. Now since we're Australian we go in this way. That way's for Americans only. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I built a bridge without railing next to it, so I, I'll probably put in railing soon. I can't be bothered right now, there's the magistrates. So this courtroom, the difference between this one and the other one is you got a little slot for the accused. According to studies, putting them inside cages like this makes them very much more likely to be prosecuted than if they were sitting in sitting at the bar with everyone else, like here. But this is Minecraft. This is where the accuser sits. So this one's for more, is a higher court. It's for more serious cases like rape, murder, and uh, fraud. Uh, no. Actually, no, fraud would be a, you know, yeah, no, fraud would be a pretty serious crime. You'd get tried here. Oh yeah, and also this one also has a jury seating as well. So you go up here. Got jury seating. Jury sits here. Oh yeah, the other one also. I need. Sh I should put some more flags there. So this one has quite a lot of flags. The other one does not. That's a pity. I should put more flags. You not. Know I'm gonna put more flags. I'm gonna put more flags. Here and here. Let's change this. So I can get that flag. There we go, I got two copies of the flag now. Yeah, it's the same deal. Judge. Judge assistant here. Uh, witness. Court officer. Uh, sol solicitors and counsel, public, uh, jury above. And you already know what I said previously, so... Um, the other thing also is I designed some really huge windows for this one too. I'm not sure of actual courts... Uh, actually, no, I have been inside the Queensland Supreme Court before. And yeah, there are some high windows looking that give put sunlight into it, but they're not that low that you can actually see the people inside the room from outside. So that's a design flaw that hopefully doesn't um, translate into real court buildings. Sorry, I just uh, I just tick a lot, and so that does reflect in my playing a little bit. So yeah, to go up and down, you got water elevators like so. No, no bubbles, you just go up and down, press space, uh, press space and press shift. I'm using hacks, so... <sighs> it uses, um, I've got Elytra Fly currently on, so let me show you, no, extra Elytra, so means you get instant fly and so when you fly you can just jump hold down space and you fly instantly and then you got speed control which by pressing W and S controls your speed speed even allowing you to go into reverse flying and then height control space and shift allow you to control your height but while doing so if you press space it pushes you slightly forward while you go higher oh yeah and also this part of the floor is glass because you want to make it look more imposing. More scary. Melbourne style. <laughs> and same deal here, the the courtroom looks exactly the same, except a little bit higher. Oh yeah, and there's also a water elevator for the accused as well. And then here you got no entryway there. <coughs> Pardon me. I don't have the coronavirus, I think. 
I don't go out much. Exactly the same here. You know what? I'm not going to bother looking at them anymore. Pardon me. We'll just go straight to the top. And what is this at the top? Uh, this looks like a Windows XP screensaver. How nostalgic. So go up here. And at the top I fashioned a helicopter landing thing. A helipad. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then here you've got a little doorway which takes you into the ele water elevator for the accused. Pops you down straight into whatever courtroom you decide to be in. And um, usually the accused would not have uh, sick hacks, bro. So that means they can only stay here and they would have their elytra stripped for the court session they can't fly through this window and then yeah they'll speak out this way so that uh the judge and the counsel and everyone else can hear them and probably the jury too and the accused So that's about it for the court, the courthouses. I'm just gonna chuck a few flags up here. I'm gonna chuck a few flags, a few flags, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flags. Flags, flags. Flags, more flags. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend the next bit chucking flags up here and there because yes, and I want flags. Oh man, this this elytra fly is annoying sometimes. You know, I can't just go up straight. I have to go at an angle. There we go. And then down we go. Down we go. Down to the bottom floor. I really should not speak away from the mic. There we go, it's to my... It's to one side. <coughs> Let's do that there. There we go. You know, this is gonna take a while. And... The other thing also is this these magistrates courtrooms are a little bit asymmetrical so I just sort of lined them up with the wall rather than act the actual room dimensions. <laughs> you might notice that it's slightly off. It's really slightly off. Right, that's eight flags per room so I'll be placing quite a few flags here. There we go, flags we go. And whew. Actually, I need I want to check. Do I have flags along the back? No. Let's put them on the back. <laughs> it's 12 flags per room. No, 14 flags per room. 13 flags average per room then. So 14 flags this room, 12 flags that room. 13 flags on average per room. need to relax myself more. 
We need to stay relaxed, stay calm. Flag, 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 flag. One more flags. Yeah. Oh. I want more flags. Yeah. I want more flags. Yeah. Mm, one more to go. No, two more to go. Let's see. Two more to go. Yeah. Hmm. World edit is never fast enough for this stuff. Oh man. Then into the next room. No, I forgot. There we go. That's a missing touch. And then, yeah. In this room. You might notice I'm not swearing in my videos anymore, at least I'm trying not to. Oh no. Oh. Pff. Nah, jokes. But, I've decided to not swear in videos anymore because... Well, one thing... I don't know if I mentioned I started going to church recently, but I have started going to church and I've decided, personal decision, that I would not swear. Because I believe it would make me look uh, really bad in the eyes of God. And also now I see how bad it makes someone look when they do swear. And especially if they swear a lot. It makes them look somewhat uncouth. In such a way it turns people off. A lot of people, a lot of people off too, I might add. <laughs> Alright, so that flagging is done. I've got flags on court buildings. <laughs> might check out some views of those buildings now. So we're back in the Parliament House. <laughs> and going to the Prime Minister's office. As you can see, that looks really, really nice. To me at least. I'm not sure how nice it looks to you. But to me, it looks nice. I'm satisfied. Oh yeah, I also planted one tree and then I copy and pasted that three times. Or more like stacked it. I use the stack command for that. For those trees. Yeah, I planted those trees there. Stack them. I stack them. I stack them. Yeah, I stack them. <laughs> that Supreme Court building is now taller than the main Parliament House. Let's see. Yeah, the Magistrate's Court is not as tall, but the Supreme Court is taller. Helipad, <laughs> Pope Roof, Sky Deck. Yeah, so I want to show you the little modifications I've done around the base. Oh, the, the Elytra Fly just sort of glitched a bit. You'll notice here I 
I sort of widened the path at the entry of this tunnel here. I did that so the transition from this this path here to these two parts is a lot easier and a lot smoother. So if you're coming in, it would be very easy to just do this. And if you're going out, heading west, it would be a really smooth sailing like so. I also added this little sort of um, archway here, modified. It's got a sort of A shape to it a little bit. I just noticed that too, yeah, A shape. Originally it was just going to be two arches so sort of connected like a certain type of glass frame, but I thought of uh, sort of extending it upwards a bit and um, putting a flagpole on top of it. And sort of to make it look sort of believable, you might see technically this is not attached to anything, but if you look at it from a distance it looks like it is attached to something. So I put the trapdoor above to make it look like it's attached to the trapdoor. Or it's being supported by a uh, pole. <laughs> I should use more iron bars, but I couldn't be bothered. Save that for another time. And also I've done some tunnel expansions as well, so you've seen you've seen this one, haven't you? You've seen this one already. Yep, I'm not gonna do that for you. As well as that I've built this platform which the court courthouse is still on. I've also built this path here. This looping path around. You've got these stairs going up. And down. <coughs> Pardon me. And then did I mention this... This bridge as well. The one without railing. Yeah, this goes all the way out to... Oh, there we go. Rendering. All the way out here to this sort of little special area I've got a few plans for. I want to build a massive house here. Massive house for myself. And I don't know what to do with all this uh, plains land. Got these ice spikes here. I'm just thinking about how to preserve it or how to do builds here that preserve the ice spikes. Tick. Oh, look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So. That just looks so good, man. You know? It just looks so good, man. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. I like the render distance of 12. Now that you see far enough to have a nice view, but not too far that you see too much. Also doesn't really lag you out that much. Alright, so back here. Uh, I also added retaining walls along this part of the coastline of the island. About here for now. I've got this stuff going around and uh, yeah this is sort of basic rudimentary stuff for now and not sure if I'll elaborate on it, it might, might give it some detail, might give it some mossy cobblestone, no it might give it some mossy stone bricks I won't crack any of it though because that would mean it's unsafe and needs repairing and maintenance but uh, you know what I guess I could start to fix it the next day. 
What a waste of time in Minecraft. Because in real life, you actually have to do that. But this is not real life, this is Minecraft. And there's also another tunnel I built which leads directly up to the Parliament House entry. I did it here and it goes... Um, this one goes east. The other tunnel we started this video in goes... Comes from north. And the island is south of that. And so... Um... Yeah, you head down this one. <laughs> this goes under a lagoon, which I sort of want to preserve for some other things. And then up to this sort of weird looking tunnel, which heads east to a sort of foresty biome. And then the tunnel we started this video in, Ooh, there we go. The tunnel we started this video in. That also comes from a foresty biome surrounded by snowy biomes, so... That's a treat, it's a beauty. Uh, what is this? Snow. No. 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 I forgot this iron ore, bruh. I forgot this iron ore. Come on. Come on! Come on! Yeah, there we go. I'll teach the iron ore to mess with me. Just realized there's this cave here. I didn't know this existed. Wow. But this is a bit of an eyesore for me, you know? You know what to do with eyesores? Eliminate them. This is also an eyesore too, let's eliminate that. There we go. Die, water. Die. There we go. Oh yeah, I haven't shown you the biome yet, so let's head back out. Oh yeah, tiger forest and normal forest. I don't know. I thought I might put some sort of royal palace here or something. But you got these mountains sort of blocking it from view, so it could be could be nice here. Yeah, you got nice mountain views, you got ooh. Got a patch of dandelions here. Yellow flowers. So many yellow flowers in one spot. That's really nice. Oh, there's so there's so much potential with all these natural formed land masses in Minecraft. <laughs> so much potential here. I could laugh as Donald Trump for ages, you know? Oh yeah, this is the lagoon I'm talking about. I didn't want the tunnel to go through that, so I sort of dipped it down to about y equals 36 for the floor. And this pie sits at y equals 48, and same with the other tunnel. Oh, lag. And so yeah, the reason why the stairs change, sort of angle change gradient there is because if I let them, if I lifted the shallow gradient, it will sort of jut out into the lagoon a little bit. And, you know, we don't want that. I don't want that. So, I made it not like so. <laughs> and what else is there? Oh yeah, there's a tunnel we started with, that one. So I'll just go down, I'll show you the biomes there, and then we'll switch to night vision, and then I'll show you what all this looks like at night. <laughs> there's the landmass, there's the landmass right there. As you can see, it's surrounded by snow. Surrounded by snow, surrounded by snow, surrounded by snow. There's plains there, surrounded by snow. I should build some kind of... 
some kind of four-way connection here. This is pretty interesting. I could definitely build a four-way bridge here. <laughs> yeah, this would be nice, a four-way bridge. So much potential. So much potential. Wow. Uh, yep, we'll just go back. Now it's night time. Let's have a look at... Ooh. Love the way it renders. Yeah, so this is, this is what it looks like at night. Nice and ominous. This almost looks like an apartment building here. A sort of uh, Melbourne apartment building, you know. I don't live in Melbourne, by the way. I live in Brisbane. The better city. <laughs> you know, because we, we have brighter colours. We have better weather. Also, we don't have as much coronavirus to... <laughs> or barely any case at the moment. Even we got some, a couple of women who came back from Melbourne one or two weeks ago. It's old news now. There haven't really been a resurgence in cases since then. And I've checked the coronavirus uh, website for that. Yeah, so that's not an issue here. <laughs> and I really dig on other people a lot. Really take digs at other people. Other, other, yeah, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I also put the sea lanterns along the wall here so that it still lights the path up sufficiently at night. Turn full bright on. Yeah, yuck. Nah, that's like brave tier, bruh. Turn full bright off. Much better. Lights more natural. Of course, don't have ray tracing, but you know what? Ray tracing is for rich people. Rich sponsored players. No. I guess I might appreciate it if I do get it, but uh, I doubt I will. Because I have other side hustles to do as well. As this. So, let's see. Well, this angle is perfect. Or at least it's very good. And we could just go to the start of the steps. Take another photo here. I can barely see the edges of the building on the right. There we go, and... Wow, there's a lot less lag with this too. Wow. Add some extra extra beacons, no extra lanterns under there. And I'll tell you what I got plans for after this. I want to turn this sort of lagoon into a sort of port for this island. As well as that, I want to build a library somewhere around this lagoon. I want to build another path going out that way diagonally to a different district or lag. And then here, a tunnel. Oh yeah, no, these are, yeah, tunnels. Tunnel here going that way to another district. And then bridge, actually. Starting somewhere either on this corner or somewhere above here, I don't know. Going this way diagonally and it'll split in two, heading to two separate districts. Uh, yeah. Jungle and dark forest. Oh man, there's, there's quite a bit of lag around here. 
So yeah, library. Uh... I think building a royal palace on this site is a little too close to the actual building itself. And I don't know the aesthetic here. It wouldn't fit, I feel. Because Buckingham Palace is actually a fair, a little bit of a fair distance away from, uh, from Palace Westminster, in London at least. And since in Australia the Queen of Australia is also the Queen of England that lives in Buckingham Palace and all that, yeah, we don't really have such a such an arrangement in Australia because Queen lives thousands of kilometers away. Soon to be replaced by a king. Because she's getting on. Okay, this is epic. Die. This cave is epic. Nice. So I was thinking of putting, uh, what was it, accommodation for. Uh, uh, I don't even know. Not sure whether to put uh, offices here, accommodation here, stuff, I don't know, yeah, accommodation and probably put the Royal Palace out east. So that they can have a direct passage to this. And then you got this little island here, yeah, I don't know what to do with it, don't know what to do with it. And then more offices, yeah, 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 more offices, port, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, probably some... It's got to be some entertainment, dining, and normal services for all these politicians, you know. Got to, got to have a. Sp no, no, no. You, you expected me to say, uh, clubs. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we don't do clubs here. We don't do clubs. Politicians should not go to clubs. It will look bad. It will reflect poorly on their character. So I've already taken a couple of uh, screenshots to use for next thumbnail. I think uh, I'll probably figure something out. So for now I think I'll just uh, have to end it on a nice view. This is a nice view, this is also a nice view. So many nice views here. And so... I won't go back down that tunnel because I can't be bothered, but now, adios amigo.